Hi guys, back again with our first ice cream bean um, well video for winter remember here it's a little um, backwards to the tropics the ice cream beans here come in winter whereas in the tropics they come in summer so that's good for us because it gives us more um, over winter which is the so-called low season but as you've seen in my previous videos it's hardly low season over um, winter here we can't even manage to eat all the fruit we have so stay tuned for the ice cream bean tree um, extravaganza this will be part one of many many videos to come because the the beans start now to ripen but they go right through to the end of winter yeah we're still gonna be picking believe it or not we're still gonna be picking beans in spring which is September October yep the last beans are still on there in uh, October and sometimes even November but by then they've all dried out so let's get started So this is the the epic view guys of the ice cream bean at the very very beginning of winter and uh, it's another great year it's loaded last year was okay too it was sort of uh, like this but the uh, the beans weren't very um, juicy they were a little on the dry side mostly we did get a few good ones but let's find out how we go out how we go this year with um, 2021 um, um, beans it's quite a few All the way down to head level. And no, I'm not in the tropics. I'm in a, um, um, let's see, medium temperate climate. That means between cold and warm temperate. So, yeah, I'm right in the middle. Melbourne, Australia which is similar to um, um, Northern California, let's say San Jose or San Francisco or uh, Georgia on the other side. So uh, zone 9B, but uh, it's more like um, zone 8B to zone 9A in my book because we get like five months of frosts on and off five months and our winters are extremely short only running for about um, two months that's it two months of heat and yet look look what I have back there the ice cream bean tree which is uh, almost 20 feet in height six meters so I'm gonna pick ones that look ready and by the way, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I had one already and it was decent. It wasn't the best, but it was decent. They're usually ready when they're plump, right? But, um, plump. I've had plump ones that are dry and I've had non-plump ones that are sweet. So that plump rule is not um, always 100% accurate. So I'm going to see what we can do here as always the best ones are <laughs> the ones that are the furthest away I think that one there that one there looks plump plumper than the rest so and there's also there's two up there that look plump can you believe it right at the top of the tree So because I'm uh, not like 12 years old, 
and weigh only um, 60 or 70 pounds I need this to go up there for me right and I got the little one here this one for the mid height those ones there so I've got both bases covered so we can get up there at the very very top believe it or not with this tool here okay I got the fat one I wanted from the very top and a couple of other smaller ones fell don't know if I'll be okay thanks to the the pole extender so who, here we are I got these down and we're gonna see if they're any good this one's got a bit of a green tinge can you see that the green tinge on that one compared to the others that are more yellow that's the only way to find out guys you just keep experimenting and trying it's more green on the other side too see that so you're learning also for your future ice cream bean tree which you should have by the way by now because they take about five years before they're fully established don't wait for um, next year get one now so let's do this together with one hand I'm breaking them up there's the, the tree up there bananas pomelo right and on this side is the um, the guava back there and over there is the jabuticaba so I'm surrounded by um, all these tropical established trees in um, Melbourne during winter um, whilst I'm getting a suntan it's a good reminder So let's start with these ones. All right, so I stripped most of them. And they look pretty good. There's a couple of um, small ones like this one here, which won't carry much meat. But then there's um, media ones like this one. And then there's the long ones like this one. Right. All, all lengths and um, shapes and sizes. So I'm going to start with the meatiest one. This one here. Sweet. But not much flesh. Okay, from that taste, it tells me that um, it's not fully ripe. So close, so close. But it's sweet, it's very sweet. Mmm. The bees are coming, the bees are trying to attack me, so it's sweet. It's missing the the thick flesh and the the full maturity. But the um, the sugar is there. 
That's what we want. Last year the sugar was missing. Right? There's not much flesh. But let's see the, the other ones. That might be different. Mmm, juicy and sweet, but not fat, not not um, fleshy. Mmm, very seedy, rather than fleshy. So. I can't chew on anything. I have to suck on the um, the, on the um, flesh, suck it down to the seed. So that I get that, right? So, I repeat myself. It's um, not very fleshy. It tastes is good though. Mmm, wow, that one was even sweeter. So, every year these are different. Mm. and so on guys and so on so out of 1 to 10 I give it a probably a 7 well for sweetness a 10 but for flesh a 6 or 5 there's very little to um, to to, uh, <laughs> to eat I mean you can see here how thin see that that's what you're dealing with. You're dealing with that much flesh. Yeah. There, that's it. It should be at least twice that thick. Mmm, but it's sweet and it's juicy. It's just not very meaty. Right? That's what I'm trying to say. See that? Shouldn't complain though, because... Mm. It's better than nothing, right? Mm. Mm. That one was a, a really good one too. Very slimy. You can almost see the seed through the, um, the flesh. That's how thin it is on one side. The other side is a little thicker. There you go. That, that's a good uh, angle there. See that? So, overall, 7 out of 10. It would get an 8 out of 10 if it was just a little meatier. It'll never be a 10 out of 10 because they just don't get as meaty here as they do in the tropics. Mmm. But the taste, 10. Mmm, very, very juicy and sweet. Mmm. And these are very easy to, to, um, to propagate, by the way. So, this is what I'm talking about. This is last year's winter um, seeds that I decided to try and grow right not out here in the house I put the seeds in the house 
Otherwise, they would never germinate. And they germinated. They all popped in winter, indoors. And now, now that they've got some... Look at that. Meat, if you like, <laughs> on the trunk. We can um, take a gamble and leave them outside to get cold hardy. Yep, out here in the, uh, the cold and uh, frosty um, weather over winter. So far, so good. I don't care if I lose some to the cold. Look how many there are. So guys, you might be asking, why are you bothering with this tree if um, the beans are so-so? Well, guess what? Guess what, guys? This tree, the main purpose of this tree, for me, is it's a nitrogen fixer. That's why I'm growing it. Okay, and the second reason is because it's a canopy tree. So, canopy, that means it provides overhead protection to uh, all the guys below. Well, it does after uh, three or four years, not, not the first year, <laughs> not the second year, but uh, after five years, you'll get a tree almost this big. This now is uh, seven years old, going on to eight years old. And uh, it extends out um, three meters in this direction and three meters in that direction. So it's five to six meters wide and five to six meters tall in seven years. So now that's, they're the two main reasons I'm growing this. The beans are, um, what do you call it? The beans are um, a bonus. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the ice cream bean video, the first of many to come. <laughs>